Hey, what's up guys, VHS Voyager here, and today we're going to be looking at a new track from a band called Royal Coda. Um, if you haven't heard of these guys, they're relatively new. They formed in about 2017, I believe. They're from California. Um, they do like a post-hardcore kind of rock style of music. And um, I found these band because I... I have been following the vocalist of this band, Kurt Travis, who is formerly, he was part of Dance Gavin Dance for a couple years. Um, and then he moved on to a band called A Lot Like Birds, which is a band that I love a lot. Unfortunately, um, they broke up a few years ago. Um, Kurt Travis left first. They did one more album without him, and then um, the band disbanded, unfortunately. But that was a really great band. Kurt Travis is a great vocalist. And I've heard plenty of stuff from Royal Coda already. And um, so they have a couple albums that are really good. So I'm excited to see the new stuff that they're releasing now. Um, it looks like they have a an album to be announced for sometime this year. So um, yeah, this, this track just dropped uh, probably a couple weeks ago. But we're going to hop into it and see what we got. So I'm excited. Let's do it. Ooh. A cool little guitar piece there. Huh. The vocal rhythm's giving me, like... vibes from Tillian. Just the rhythm, not the the voice itself. Oh, oh that little the hi-hat is I don't know if it has like an echo on it. Really interesting. You can hear that bass. Have those chords ringing out. Yes. Great vocals. Got different stuff going on in each year with the guitars. sound going on my right ear. That's an interesting guitar effect. Really cool. Yeah, like this rhythm. The vocal rhythm reminds me of Tillian, who is now in Dance Gavin Dance, funnily enough. I love this chorus. Get interesting stuff going on with guitars. Different things in each year. Vocals great. And there's that hi hat again. It almost sounds like doubled or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm not a drummer. I really love that you can hear the bass. Okay. 
That was amazing. <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. That was so good. All right. So. That track was incredible. I'm so happy that these guys I have another album coming up. Um, Because that was just really incredible stuff. Um, that's pretty much what I expected. Um, Kurt Travis, amazing vocalist, man. He had some of those vocal rhythms reminding me of Tillian, who is currently the clean vocalist in Dance Gavin Dance, and he was formerly in um, Tides of Man, which is another awesome band. That's actually when I first found Tillian was in Tides of Man. But um, vocals are completely different. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he sounds like Tillian, but they just gave me, reminded me of that, the rhythm, a little bit. But amazing vocalist, love the chorus. Guitar work is really awesome. They have a lot of cool stuff going on with this. Um, they have, you know, they actually have um, a guitarist from Dance Cam and Dance. Um, they have Will Swan, who's from a uh, guitarist from Dance Cam and Dance. So it makes sense that the guitar work is freaking awesome. They also have. Uh, Sergio Medina, who's in, um, I believe he's in Idola, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check that really quick so I don't... Yeah, he is also the guitarist in Idola. So it makes sense that they have really awesome guitar parts in this because they have two amazing guitarists that do a, a lot of great work in this kind of style of music. And I love it. They have like crazy guitar sounds with their effects. Like this this effect that's going on right now in my right ear. It's like... And then just they have really awesome leads and stuff that's ambient, stuff that's atmospheric, like really catchy. Almost like these almost funky rhythms kind of stuff that they have going on. Really cool, really cool guitar work. Um, you can hear the bass in this, I love that. Bass really good, the drum work was good too. I like the little thing that he's going on with the hi-hat. I don't know if that was um, like doubled or had an effect on it or something like that. Um, I could be wrong. It sounded like that to me, but I'm not a drummer, so maybe it was just a interesting uh, technique with, with the hi-hat that I'm not aware of. But this track was freaking awesome. So I am very, very excited to hear more from these guys as they release it. I can't wait for their new album, which apparently is to be announced for some time this year. So um, we'll be getting a full album from them this year. From what I can see. So that's really exciting. I can't wait. I can't wait, guys. Royal Code is freaking awesome. Um, definitely go check them out if you haven't heard of them before. So anyway... That's going to do it for me on this one, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Royal Coda and this track in the comment section down below. And if you guys have any music recommendations for me, as always, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Check out your recommendations. And, uh, yeah, that's it for me. So until next time, Voyager out.